morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It's Saturday the 19th of March 2022 and today I'm heading to Lincolnshire for Boston United versus Gateshead in the National League North. So here I'm in Boston, uh, going to the game, Boston are currently 8th in the National League North table while we're still top after last weekend's win at Gloucester, uh, still 3 points clear. Boston obviously uh, sort of in a hunt for a playoff spot, breathing down York's next little bit, so it's a big game for both teams this afternoon, both really need to be getting getting something from the game, I mean, Brackley are playing against Kidderminster today and uh, I'd take just matching uh, Brackley's result to be honest we are uh, if we can better it then then great but we definitely can't afford for them to make up any sort of ground on us today uh, hopefully Kidderman still do us a bit of a favour in that one I think they go there maybe with a bit of a point to prove given their recent form and um, and the record against sort of sides and maybe just the sort of top six top seven this season here uh, but we can only focus on ourselves and what we do here today. It's going to be, it's going to be a tough game. Um, I mean, obviously for us, this is the first time we've ever been to uh, Boston's new ground. I saw us there. I saw us against Boston at their old grounds once. Um, obviously, a three 0 win that night. So it'd be nice to have uh, repeated that today. But um, but yeah, I'm not expecting it to be as straightforward as that but anyway let's head to the jakeman's community stadium and find out how it all unfolds here we are then a new one off the list so the team's warming up their gates are getting ready down here looks as though we're going to be in our away kit this afternoon uh boston uh, getting ready in a distance over there I'll tell you what i'm really impressed with the setup here Get it, 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 get it,
I'll tell you what, other than the goal, we have started this game so poorly. So there's a hold up because the linesman's injured. Right, so the play's gone off a bit. Apparently they have found a few officials, so hopefully the game will restart soon. Um, why does this league not have fourth officials? This twice now this season we've had a game where there's been delayed because of an injury to an official. So surely to God it will make sense to, to have fourth officials in this league. Right, so Gates are back onto the pitch. Still waiting on Boston. There's not really in, in, in that long left in a half. Just to repeat, uh, eight minutes remaining uh, of the first half. That's Half time, Boston United won, Gates had won. Got to say, other than the uh, goal we scored, we have been so poor in that first half. Uh, Boston the first half took everything, uh, our final balls non existent. Um, seems to be making too many sort of sloppy errors and stuff like that. It's really sort of tough to watch so far. We've really got to sort something out here. I mean, up until, like, just before the uh, linesman got injured, it looked as though we were maybe sort of starting to turn the screw a little bit. Uh, but since that delay, um, the rest of this half's just been dead, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, we'll see how the second half goes, but, um, but we really do need to improve here if we want to go on and win this game. Right, so four minutes of added time at the end of this game. Besides, Full-time Boston United won, Gates had two. Uh, I think it was one of those where you're just happy to hear the final whistle. Um, I think Boston were the better team in the first half, but we were the better team in the second half. Obviously, we came 
out after half time and it looked like we had a lot more sort of energy about us so we, we started to get at them uh, Maka missed a chance uh, but thankfully uh, Kedwin didn't and uh, went 2 1 up I think what four or five minutes into the second half uh, then from there uh, Adam Campbell had a couple from range which were pretty close I think uh, I think both Macaulay and Macaulay Langstaff and uh, Greg Olley had had shots that the keeper saved but really they maybe sort of ought to, be, to have been putting away but ultimately to be honest with you it doesn't matter because we've got the three points and um, and honestly it is days like this that really can make all the difference where we've had a tough battle and uh, you've still managed to come away with come away with the result um, I think what sort of Boston there today I think they'll be coming the end of the season they'll probably be outside of the playoffs if I'm totally honest with you um, I mean they're not, I don't think they're a bad team by any means I think once again, like it was at the International Stadium, I thought uh, that uh, Fraser Preston, uh, when he came on, he sort of looked lively in that. Um, but I think other than that sort of shot they had in the first half, which sort of the overhead kick and uh, and the penalty didn't really offer that much. Uh, but all the same, it was a tough battle for us out there and I'm absolutely delighted to come away from that game with, with the three points. Um, but we can't, as, as I keep on saying, uh, we can't get carried away with it. Uh, obviously, this coming week we've got two massive home games. Um, firstly, against Curzon Ashton, who um, who uh, obviously still have sort of an outside chance of getting in the playoffs. Then against Bradford Park Avenue, who after today's results are pro probably sort of looking over the shoulder a little bit so that maybe they need a few more in sort of insurance points um, so it's still a lot to go for for quite a lot of the teams um, we just got to keep doing our bit I mean if we basically if we we keep we keep winning like we are then no one can catch us can they um, but one step at a time that's very important and now the focus has to be on Curzon Ashton but anyway that's that for this video I'll be back on Tuesday night with that Gateshead versus Curzon Ashton game so until then take care and I will see you later